Hello, and welcome to our next module entitled Construction Management Career Opportunities and the Future for You. So in today's module, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about different construction management uh, professional opportunities and positions. We're going to learn about the construction management future and the right fit for you whether it's a job in the field or a job in the office, in administration, or perhaps a combination. At some point in your career, you're going to have to have field and office experience to really get up the ladder and improve your career opportunities. We will also cover uh, two case study examples of a student uh, who graduated and had some uh, negative feedback in its first uh, job interview. And we'll also cover uh, a situation of a student who had great experience in a course in college, no field experience, and went for a job interview. And we'll find out how she did. So let's stand by and get ready to start our next lesson on construction management career opportunities. Let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about the profession, promoting the construction profession. There are many, many different kinds of positions in construction management, in the office, in the field, or both. And I want to emphasize the real world construction profession to all of you. Let's take position title examples, and there are many. Look at all those titles from field engineer to project manager to construction executive to superintendent to those that might work in the office as cost engineers, schedulers, estimators, purchasing agents, or pre-construction manager, a very important part of construction manager in today's business. And of course, a construction manager. Very important. Titles are important, yes, but advancing in your career is more important. Career opportunities. Wow, there are many. Education, experience, combination that leads to jobs. And I'm sure that's what a lot of you are focused on. There's a high demand for construction managers. It's a booming business. The level and complexity of construction activity today is increasing. Jobs are getting much more complex with building automation systems and BIM and we'll talk about all of that throughout this course and the following courses. Increasing demand for qualified construction workers is powerful today. Critical skills are really needed. So you need to really hone in and tune up on your critical skills, both technical, personal, managerial, and of course, some of your negotiation skills, since many of you will be in procurement and acquisition and signing up and awarding contracts to specialty subcontractors. So next, let's talk a little bit about the construction management future. And as you can see from that arrow, it's good. It's up. It's growing. The United States Bureau of Labor Statistics construction index is projects a 10% growth over the next decade. And some surveys actually project as much as a 20% growth over the next decade. Well, it's faster than average for all occupations. Now, let's talk about finding the right fit for you. Firms come in all shapes and sizes performing all kinds of construction services, as we talked about previously, residential, commercial. Uh, we talked about heavy and highway, infrastructure, and manufacturing. So you want to match your personal and professional preferences when selecting a type of firm. And there are many different types. Let me talk to you a little bit about a story of an engineering student who graduated and his friend both applied to a very large multi-professional uh, construction management firm, and he didn't get the job, but his friend got the job. Very disappointing. He was rejected for a job at a construction company after graduation, but eventually got another job. Well, 
He got a second opportunity for a second interview and an offer two years later. And somebody had to twist his arm to go back to the company for another interview. He was very reluctant, having been rejected and disapproved two years earlier. But he went for the interview. And guess what? He got the job and he worked in many positions. He learned the company's culture. Learning the company's culture is really important. That's sort of the common denominator of the company that helps you really learn about the ins and outs and what really makes the company tick. Well, he worked there for many, many years, decades and decades. And after many decades, he became the president and the CEO of this multi-million dollar organization. And in actuality, it's a multi-billion dollar organization. So the tip is diversify your construction management position experiences. Don't be afraid to go back a second time if you've been rejected. So let's focus on some construction company characteristics. And we'll come back to this image in a moment. First, there are many advantages and many disadvantages of construction companies. They come in all shapes and sizes. Consider the following. The demographics, number of employees, the financial health of the company, location of branch offices, what's their revenue, do they have training opportunities for you, Will they send you to school? Will they reimburse you for courses? What type of technology do they use? Will they pay for relocation? And what scope of services are offered by these companies? Do they have teleworking? Today, teleworking is crucial. That's one of the most important aspects of a company that people are looking for. What teleworking opportunities do companies have? And, of course, opportunities for advancement, both in salary and in position. So, do you want to be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond? Both has advantages. They both have some disadvantages, but basically they have some great advantages. In a big company, you're going to get a lot of technical help and training in specialties. In a smaller companies, you're going to get to do a lot of different things that the big companies split up to different people. In a smaller company, the same tasks need to be done, but in a smaller company, you're going to get to do all of them. Hi, I hope you're enjoying this free lesson from the University of Maryland's Project Management Center for Excellence. If you want to check out more lessons just like this one, click the link in the description below where you'll be able to go to our website on executive project management. There, you can find edX courses, professional short courses where you can learn from an instructor like me, as well as request custom team training for you and your organization. All right, let's get back to the lesson and I'll see you at the end. So let's talk about distinguishing some company construction uh, characteristics and what makes the difference. Well, there are local companies, they serve a narrow clientele, and they're basically limited to the local neighborhood or city or county or town that you're in. Very easy to commute and get to, and you get to know a lot of the people in your jurisdiction. Likely well-known in their communities, family-owned, typically. And then there's the regional companies. They branch out across an entire state, multi-state area, perhaps DMV, uh, in the Washington, D.C. area, that's called the District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia area, or it could be Mid-Atlantic, or it could be Far West, or it could be Midwest, or it could be Southeast, or Northeast, or Mid-Atlantic. There are national companies, and these are companies across the United States with offices in many cities with a headquarters or a home office, generally in one location. And then there are international construction companies. Travel and relocation is pretty common and getting relocated is pretty typical. So put on your skates and be ready to move. There are some nice advantages because the projects are often large to mega large. Sometimes those company projects are a billion, two billion, four billion, five billion, very large projects especially in the international market. 
One last case study example that I do want to uh, wrap up with you is how an online course resulted in a student getting our number one job offer. And this was a, this was a student at a major university taking a course in cost engineering and control. She was getting ready to graduate and really had very little real world experience. But the student took an online course at the university. It was cost engineering and control. And she learned about cost estimating, bidding, and scheduling, and all the trials and tribulations that go into managing a job to conclusion. So she knew the real world process. She really knew how to get from A to Z and got some real world course training in this program and in this course. Well, she went for a construction management type job interview and didn't have any experience as a job. She never was a, a trainee. She was never an intern, never worked part time. She was always very busy, had family commitments, but went to school and took this one course that really gave us some real world experience. So what do you think happened? She knew the process, she knew the details and had been through simulations. Got the interview and it was a layer of interviews. It was three interviews and got the job. So training, coursework really supplements and reinforces your experience. Knowing the best practices matters. Learning to be a construction manager can truly accelerate your career. Well, I trust you got some good feedback and experience from this module and this lesson on construction management career opportunities and what opportunities there are available for all of you in the industry with small, medium, and large companies, field experience, office experience, and things you can do to really improve your career opportunities and growth. So with that uh, as your background, we're going to move on in the next uh, module entitled Project Players. We're going to talk about and learn about the different players in the project. Very important function. So I look forward to seeing you in our next module. Thank you. Hey there. Did you enjoy that lesson as much as I did? If you did, go ahead and give us a like. If you want to see another one, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, put them below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Moreover, is there somebody in your life who really needs this lesson right now? If so, go ahead and share it with them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Now, we look forward to seeing you in the next lesson where you can learn even more from the University of Maryland Project Management Center for Excellence. Thanks so much.